guys welcome back to another vlog today is Wednesday and today I am just basically decided I needed to do some stuff around the apartment I've had some laundry that I really need to hang up like just like stuff like that I'm trying to vlog two times a week now so I'm do gonna do a vlog today but I spontaneously while I was doing my laundry sorry if you can hear my dryer going in the background by the way I, I don't know if you can but I can it's kind of annoying um, there's like you know when you have stuff in the dryer that's just like flopping around like buckles and stuff that probably shouldn't be in there but I was doing my laundry and hanging some stuff up going through my closet and just being like I don't have room in here for like to push things around really anymore and I've had this thought for a while that it's just like I really desperately need to go through my closet because I really haven't done that and I've been holding on to things you know what I mean like you just hold on to things for too long and if I haven't worn something in a year or two years it's like that really doesn't need to be in my closet it's so unnecessary so I just have started going through and I'm doing like a pile for stuff that I'm going to sell and then a pile for goodwill so I'm going to have a lot of stuff I do know because I haven't done this in a while and hey there's me I'm not sure if I should sell my stuff on like Poshmark um, maybe some things on eBay because I have like two Louis Vuitton purses that I don't use anymore that um, are in amazing condition that I want to sell so stuff like that I'm not really sure I'm going to look into it more and it's probably gonna take me a while to list my stuff but I basically always just give myself to goodwill I've never really sold my stuff before but a lot of the things I have are nice from like Wild Fox American Apparel Topshop stuff like that and they're really not like that old and they're in very good condition worn probably like you know one to four times so I definitely want to sell some of my stuff and I don't know if any of you guys would be interested in that but when I have that figured out I will like obviously let you guys know and tweet the link if I do a Poshmark or if I do an eBay listing to some of my stuff um like I said like I'm not sure the best way to sell if you guys know the best way that I should sell to Louis Vuitton purses let me know I look freaking bald when I hold the camera like this and I have my hair up I look freaking bald but my hair is just like I haven't honestly I really need to take a shower because it's probably gonna take me a good part of the day This was a spontaneous thing that it has been on my to-do list though So I'm glad that I'm doing it, but yeah today is gonna be a day where I get stuff done But productive days are good days me and sir squirtle are about to take a much needed <laughs> He's like, mom, let's go. We're about to take a much needed break. Go on a little walk. I also want to get some Chipotle. I'm about, I'm a little bit more, I'm almost done. I'm like more than halfway done, I think, with my closet, but I'm going to take this guy out. Wow, I don't know why, but that really took a lot out of me. <laughs> I'm freaking exhausted after doing that. It took me like three hours. It feels good because I have more room now and there was so many things which it doesn't even really look like that much but it is a lot of things um all of that i'm gonna probably sell this is my smaller goodwill pile and then there's an additional pile back there that i just already put away because this, this pile is getting too tall but more stuff to sell it's 4 15 now so that took up a lot of the day <laughs> and i am going to take a shower now and then i'm going to take myself on a date to chipotle it's not the most exciting of days but it's a day that i wanted to talk to you guys and i just feel lonely sometimes so i like to talk to my camera sometimes and be like hey this is what i'm doing and i hope you guys are doing well i hope whenever you're watching you're having a great day do you ever just get out of the shower and decide you know i don't i'm not gonna brush my hair when i brush it out it kind of dries to this just weird like natural wave and at least the towel dryness i guess it's kind of frizzy but it'll at least dry to some sort of like a curl i'm hoping at least <laughs> um so yeah i feel so much fresher now so fresh and so clean i've just been thinking about chipotle for the past four hours honestly so yes an important moment my first burrito bowl in Probably like two months. Why does that happen though? That's the worst when that happens. They overstuffed it, but yeah, I just get a veggie burrito bowl with this stuff on it pretty much. I asked for guac on the side and they put it on top and I was like, oh, well I was gonna get chips, but I guess now I'm not gonna get chips. So I just got two little uh, flour tortillas, which you can ask for these on the side. If you guys didn't know you could do that, probably you did, but yeah. This man put so many beans in my burrito bowl and it's like really overpowering and I'm regretting asking for black beans. I don't get them most of the time and I really don't know why I did this time. Squirtle can. 
so I am chilling with Squirt. We just took a nice little walk. I'm about to edit my first San Francisco vlog, so I'm excited to do that. I was just hanging out with my neighbor for a little bit tonight. Um, he had to borrow my blender for <laughs> some sort of a salsa. A salsa party at work tomorrow and he came over for a bit and we were just talking and hanging out and that was really nice because he's a really cool dude and oh now I remember I I forgot this but I'm having a task rabbit come put something up right here which I'll show you guys when it's actually up because I think that'll be better to just show you when it's done so I just remembered that um, so I guess I'm gonna I should probably move my bed so there's no like drill stuff that's getting all on here but yeah do some editing do some task rabbiting hello my son who doesn't let me be alone even when i go to the bathroom you guys he follows me into the bathroom and puts his paws up on me this man megan and i discovered this man has some serious separation anxiety like he his biggest fear is just not being with me or megan or whoever is you know taking care of him so he always has to be by my side, which is okay. So I just had a task rabbit um, come over, which is really nice if you guys never have never used the app task rabbit. I don't know if it's available in other areas, but here in LA at least is when I heard about it and you can basically just hire somebody to do a task for you, which is really, really cool because sometimes you don't know what service you like need i suppose so i just basically use it for stuff that's like handy work because i don't really have any tools so hiring a little handyman so this guy just came over and he hung up this baby for me which came in the mail last week and it is my one million plaque my gold play button i have my two silver ones from a hundred thousand on the sides i've had these on the top of these shelves for a while and i put this one on the wall above my bed and so this is a cement wall so he nailed it in and everything like that and it just says congratulations for surpassing one million subscribers and this is something that i didn't know until it was like a recent thing that you could add your logo, which I wish I hadn't done that because had I realized, oh, it's not gonna be like very big, I would have just had, it usually just does your channel name or whatever you want it to say right under there. So I would have just had it say Lindsay Hughes, but can't really tell, <laughs> but that's my logo right there. If I had known that it, I should have made the text white, but it's not a big deal. It was a surprise getting that in the mail last week because so I probably requested it in like, October or November or something and then it just says hey it's gonna take you know like some amount of weeks to come to you and they don't really send you a tracking thing so I, I didn't know that I was gonna be getting it last week and I was really really like excited about it it was super heavy and it was just like so exciting to open and it just it made me really happy but also I just I got kind of um I've been feeling just very emotional and having a lot of just weird stress i feel like i'm in some sort of a a midlife crisis at age 21 if you will i'm just gonna be like real with you guys for a minute um i've been having a lot of struggles in the past um i would say you know a couple weeks month or so it's just it's very odd i'm probably gonna make a whole vlog talking about this on my main channel um every time i upload a video I lose subscribers right now and that's something that's like it's really really weird for me to say if you guys read my evolution of the beauty guru essay that I talked about in a vlogmas episode um, I'll link it in the description box if you want to read that but that kind of goes into it like all of my thoughts are just I had to do an essay for school and I kind of let out all of my thoughts in that essay but I as I said I'm probably gonna make a whole video discussing this just with you guys just cuz um it's something that I haven't haven't really completely fully opened up about and um, I've been experiencing just a lot of like self-doubt lately because I haven't been uploading consistently at all on my main channel I've just been kind of uploading whenever I please and whenever I have something to upload and whenever I have a video that you know I'm like I, I want to film this video I've just I've been lacking inspiration and motivation for so long and um, it's just very weird that I feel like it's it was still going on for so long. I feel like a lot of things in my life were clouding my um, creativity cloud with what I want for my YouTube channels. And I just went through this transition um, in August where I made that video that was like 
here's the new types of videos that I'm gonna be filming on my channel and then I realized that's not what I want to do anymore either so um, I've just been going through this whole thing struggle with myself of the types of videos that I want to be making and I haven't been uploading videos consistently for a while because I get really really frustrated because when I do upload a video I lose subscribers so that makes me not that makes me feel like a huge disappointment and makes me feel like I don't want to upload videos because I'm just losing I'm losing viewers and everything like that it's really hard because I'm at that point that's like I reached a million subscribers and then I started losing subscribers and it's honestly really embarrassing and I don't like talking about it I don't really talk about it with anyone I talked to Ollie about it yesterday and he made me feel a lot better it's just it's unfortunate because it's like I know I'm doing it to myself I know that like this wasn't a good time to have all these changes that I went I went through myself and changes that I wanted to make to my channel which results in not being consistent because I don't know what I want to be putting out and then when I have things that I do want to be putting out it's like Half of the time it's like, if it's a video that I'm really excited about, like the video that I did with my sister was something that we were so like excited about and that video got like just really really bad views, like it got the worst views of any video I've uploaded in probably like the past like 6 or 7 months or something like that. I struggle with that type of video which is like something that I get really excited about and like passionate about and like feel like is helpful and I want to make. And then other types of videos that I know that you guys want to see more such as like a morning routine or a haul or what's in my purse just like the typical videos that like do well that I know like are positively received you know what I mean so I'm struggling with that because I'm at this point where it's like I want my videos to please you guys but I also want them to please myself and it's I don't know it's just I I don't even know what I'm saying I didn't plan to talk about this but um it just got me thinking because I'm like staring at my million plaque and that's like something for me that's like that's <laughs> it was such a freaking huge accomplishment for me to reach that and I reached that like 10 months ago and I didn't grow my channel since then at all which is like something that's like the first time in my life I can say like in a year I haven't I haven't grown my channel I've been stuck at the exact same place and um, people are upset with me people are disappointed in me people are angry at me I suppose and I just want to thank uh, any of you guys that are here on this channel or here on my other channel and that are not even I'm not saying like I'm thanking you guys that are nice to me because I don't necessarily think with what I've been doing that I that it's like acceptable and I mean YouTube is my job and that's something that I'm just very very bad at I've realized this managing kind of like different things in my life right now I'm like at the happiest point in so many aspects of my life such as like the relationships that I'm in. I have a boyfriend who I am just like in love with and that's something that I haven't really shared other than a little bit on social media and um, that is something that's like taking up a lot of my life right now and also just my relationships with my friends like I've been putting a lot of like my relationships with people and things in real life and like trips and things like that I've been putting all of that stuff before my work and before my job and before YouTube and school and everything like that and I'm just bad at balancing that stuff I've realized I suppose I'm putting all of these things like spending time with my boyfriend and my friends and everything like that before before my job and that's not okay to do to you guys because there's so many of you guys that that are expecting you know regular videos for me and regular uploads for me so like I said <laughs> I'm gonna make a video on this channel um, it's probably gonna be a sit-down video just talking about all of this stuff <laughs> and um, struggling with self-doubt because I feel like that's a really really normal thing and it's so prevalent in my life right now even though it's very weird because I'm also like the happiest that I've ever been in my entire life in every aspect except for my career and my work this is the one aspect where I get really stressed out and I've been crying about it a lot recently just about I have no idea what I want to do next I have no idea what I even want right now for my job and this was a very long clip, um, I'm gonna go now, but thank you for listening so much and just thank you for listening to that because I felt really good to talk about that finally, so thank you. Lara Bar decided to make an appearance this evening. This is honestly the highlight of Squirtle's days when he gets to see his brother. They, this is like so fun for them. This is all they do when they're together. It's just like wrestle each other. It's really cute actually. <laughs> My woman is here. Yo, people think that we're dating. 
Wait, really? Yeah. Is it for real? I've gotten two comments now because I call you like Bay and vlogs and stuff like that. Like we are sisters. One hundred. What is wrong sisters. with you people? I think that they're also trolling. Some of them are just trolling, but I think it's funny getting the comments. But at the same time, it's like, come we on. We have the same last name. Sometimes people will comment and be like, wait, they're sisters? Oh, I didn't even know. I had no idea. And Megan and I were just like, what? I was watching one of my old videos today and one of the comments was like, she looks a lot like that Lindsay girl on YouTube. And somebody replied back, they're sisters. <laughs> if you didn't know, now you know. Let's do a loud pack call. Let's do a loud pack call. A loud pack call. <laughs> That's what you're calling. Okay. We had our Ralph's Postmate delivery and he literally arrived four seconds before Megan arrived and yeah. walked out of the elevator. He it was cute so puppy. <laughs> and then I came with Larry and he was like, so many cute puppies. <laughs> and then I was like, thank you, sir. He like got in the elevator. Yes, okay, these so are our sons. These are my favorite snacks. Yeah. Those nice. are Meg's favorite. This is like... Just like, this was like a, I was feeling, let's make a little Toll House chocolate chip. So we got the oven preheating tonight. Oh this is our, yeah, my God. this is our favorite ice cream. I haven't ever. had this since I was in Georgia. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I bought French silk. Of course you got the cheese mix. This is our favorite snack to munch on together. Yeah. And then you got some classic BBQ chips. Ooh, I just decided those were good. Okay, my camera's on low battery.